This morning we're going to be looking at how to use your CO2 canister, which most cyclists know as a bomb. Now, as simple as it is to actually use the bomb, most guys actually haven't had a chance to use one yet, and a lot of people make some very basic mistakes. Even people who've used bombs frequently often make these basic mistakes. And just to make sure that you don't ruin your ride wasting your last bomb, we're just going to go through some basics on what to remember. The first and most important thing is obviously that since the last time you used your bomb, your tap was open. Now, before you screw your bomb in, you have to make sure that the tap is firmly sealed. If not, as soon as you screw your bomb in, the air will just rush straight out. To use your bomb, you'll then screw your bomb in, and you'll actually hear it pierce. I don't know if you can hear that little at the end there, but that was the bomb now piercing, and you'll simply then screw it over your valve. Now again, on a road bike, another thing that's important to remember is besides screwing this over firmly, is to unscrew the little cap at the end of the valve to make sure it's open. And also please make sure if you put a new tube in a wheel that the tube has been seated in correctly. If you have it sticking out underneath the tire or the tube's twisted somewhere inside the tire, the speed that it inflates will blow the tube. One last thing to remember, particularly if you're doing this in winter, is that when the air comes through the bomb, the bomb gets very, very cold. It doesn't sound like much, but it can be it can pretty much burn you <laughs> if you're doing it in the middle of winter. Now for those of you who haven't seen how the bomb works, we can just open this bomb now and you can actually see the air coming through and the basic system. And it's as simple as that. With this tap I can actually control the speed and the amount of air flowing through as well. And if necessary I can shut it off if I need to. So the tap is a very useful system although you do get more smaller and compact systems which simply are controlled by pushing it onto the valve and releasing. So there are multiple different systems that all work around the base, same basic method. One other thing that is important to know is if you do put your bomb in and end up not using it, you don't have to store it that way. Although the bomb has pierced, at the bottom of all systems is a little release hole. So if you were to start unscrewing it, even with it sealed, I don't know if you could hear that hiss there, but that's the air now coming through the release hole. So before it unthreads completely, in which case it would shoot with the pressure, the pressure is released so you can unscrew safely without having to actually use the bomb.